Hey, what's up guys? Travis Fulton here and welcome to Online Gains. Each week, I'm gonna be sharing with you real insight on how I'm developing players all across the world on full swing, short game, and putting. Be sure to tune in. All right, hey John, Travis here. Um, so, the head position is, is still too far out in front. Um, so like these the previous analysis that we, that I did, you can see your spine is tilted actually towards the target. And so your head position, you can see is starting in front of the ball. And then when you take a swing, Right, you can see the head position. Reset that line there. That head position is, you can see still in front of the ball. And then when you come down, it's even further, right? So you're way out ahead of it. Okay, and that that is the biggest issue is everything you're you're doing with your body and turning and all these things when you go to strike it, you can see the entire head's out in front of the ball. Okay, so we've got to get it behind the ball. And to do that, we've got to get, I think, two things here out of dress. One is we got to get the feet a little bit wider, and then we've got to get the spine tilted back spine tilted to your right, hips slightly to the left, and then the head would be behind the ball at a dress. When you turn, your head would be behind the ball, and then when you hit it, your head would be behind the ball. So my advice to you here is everything, you know, there, there's, there's things that you can look at, but when the head's in front of the ball at all phases, like that's that's the main issue. You gotta stop what you're doing and fix that. And so um, I'm gonna shoot you a video here of me demonstrating that again, where I'm gonna do it to an impact bag, which I would recommend that you get and you use this impact bag as a reference point to uh, where your head is in relationship to the ball. And I'm going to talk about feet width. I'm going to talk about spine. And I'll, I'll take you through that here. Um, and that's really the one big thing that I want you to get done. So when you look from this view, see, it's interesting from this view, like there's a lot of good stuff here. Like that first move is really good. Um, those wrist angles are really good. When it comes down to it's a little bit steep, but it's it's a little steep because your your head's in front of the ball, and that's where you can see that divot, and, and you know you can get a lot of chunks and some strikes off the heel, the hosel because you're so far out in front of it. But when you look at this overall shape, it's 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 good. There's a lot of good stuff here. It's just we've just too far out in front with the upper body. Okay, so really important in this video for you to watch what I'm going to send you and do some little swings. I'm going to show you how to do this in really quantifying where the head is relative to the ball. All right, so we've got this impact bag here. That's going to be the ball. And then I've got this pool noodle coming up. That's the back of the bag. And so right now, when you hit your iron, your head starting on this side. And then when you turn, your head's here. And then when you start down, you get even further out in front. So you can see my spine is really kind of off to the left, and I'm out in front. It's steep, ball's gonna roam around in the face. Certainly can see it hitting on the hosel too. So what I want you to do is I want you to feel your spine go a little bit to the right. So now my head, and I can really quantify it with this pool noodle, you can see it's kind of going through my ear. 
my head feels like it's more over here. My spine tilts gently to the right. Ball position maybe just a little forward. And then what I want to quantify is when I turn, my head is still there. Okay, my head doesn't start here and then go towards it in the backswing. My head starts here when I turn, I think it'd be okay even for you to feel like even your head maybe just drifts a little bit. I don't think that would hurt you to feel, start behind, maybe just drift a little right, away from it. And then I think the most important here is coming down when we hit the bag, we're still there. Okay. And I can feel that my spine is in a little side bend to the right when I hit it. So everything for you is quantifying that you're not starting ahead of it, turning ahead of it, hitting the ball ahead of it. You're starting behind it. You're turning behind it. And then when you go to impact, you're staying behind. Spine to the right, that's the key, okay? Really important that you're getting this dynamic through the bag. Do it like an eight, seven iron first, then go to the driver. And as you get to the driver, you'll, you'll feel like you're even a little bit more behind it yet. 